Hello, everyone, and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Requests and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing all right this morning on, their, on our prayer request today. Pray for our daughter, Jackie. She had her uh, colonoscopy uh, Tuesday. Um, they <clears throat> put her on a different medicine. I don't think they... Um, I don't know if they've got all the if she's got all the results from from the colonoscopy yet. But they put her on a different medicine and one she's already on, and uh, we'll just have to see. I think it's, they said two months or something that should start helping. I, I hope so. Um, Patty's husband Richard's home now and continues with blood thinners. Please continue to pray for him. Pray for the 18 students and the driver that were taken to the hospital after the school bus they were in crashed. That was in Kentucky. Pray for Amy Kay's aunt. She's been having treatments for her autoimmune and she's very weak. And I know how that can do, you know, because the ones I get will just make me really weak for several days. So uh, I know how she must feel. Um, pray for Ruth's brother. He was hit by a car while walking. Um, it was a hit and run. So pray that he'll be okay. I just can't imagine, you know, hitting somebody and taking off, you know, especially walking. I mean, I can't imagine it even if it was a car you hit, you hit or anything, but that's bad. Okay, our um, scripture of the day comes from Deuteronomy 4, 1 through 9. A little water in my voice. Well, I'll have to use these glasses. Well, I don't like these as good. Hold on, I forgot my glasses. Okay. Now, Israel, hear the decrees and laws I am about to teach you. Follow them so that you may live and may go in and take possession of the land the Lord, the God of your ancestors, is giving you. Do not add to what I command you and do not subtract from it, but keep the commands of your Lord, your God, that I give you. You saw with your own eyes what the Lord did at Baal Peor. The Lord your God destroyed from among you everyone who followed the Baal of Peor. But all of you who held fast to the Lord, your God, are still alive today. See, I have taught you decrees and laws as the Lord my God commanded me, so that you may follow them in the land you are entering to take possession of it. Observe them carefully, for this will show your wisdom and understanding to the nations, who will hear about all these decrees and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. What other nation is so great as to have their gods near them the way the Lord our God is near us whenever we pray to him? And what other nation is so great to have such righteous decrees and laws as this body of laws I am setting before you today? Only be careful and watch yourselves closely so that you do not forget the things your eyes have seen or let them fade from your heart as long as you live. Teach them to your children and to their children after them. And I lost my place. Okay. And our devotion today is entitled "Let Keep Your Guard Up." A man and several friends went through a ski resort gate posted with avalanche warning signs and started snowboarding. On the second trip down, someone shouted "Avalanche!" but the man couldn't escape and perished in the cascading snow. Some criticized him, calling him a novice, but he wasn't. He was an avalanche-certified backcountry guide. One researcher said the skiers and snowboarders with the most avalanche training are more likely to give, faulty, give in to faulty reasoning. The snowboarder died because he was lulled into letting his guard down. As Israel prepared to go into the promised land, God wanted his people to keep their guard up to be careful and alert. So he commanded them to obey all his decrees and laws and remember his past judgment on those who disobeyed. They needed to be careful to examine themselves to, and keep watch over their inner lives. This would help them keep their guard up against spiritual dangers from without and spiritual apathy with, from within. 
It's easy for us to let our guard down and fall into apathy and self-deception. But God can give us strength to avoid falling in life and forgive us by his grace when we do. By following him and resting in his wisdom and provision, we can keep our guard up and make good decisions. When do you tend to let your spiritual guard down? What will you do to follow God's wisdom and remain alert to dangers to your faith? Dear God, please help me to remain alert and follow you in loving obedience. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I hope everybody has a great morning. I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.